What's up guys, I'm DJ Avionics and in this episode of Tutorial Tuesday, I'll be showing you guys how I made that intro basically by putting a video clip on a wall. Now this is going to need two things, you're obviously going to need Adobe After Effects and you're going to need the Element 3D plugin by Video Copilot. I'll have the link down below in the video description and you can go ahead and purchase their plugin. So right away we're just going to go ahead and click New Composition and my video clip for my intro is exactly 6 minutes and, and 6 frames so you're just going to want to enter in your duration here for your clip I'm going to go ahead and click OK All right, I'm going to go ahead and find my file which is YouTube intro right here and drag this into the project panel on the left and we're going to go ahead and drag this down into your composition timeline now before we do anything else, we're going to need to add our Element 3D plugin. So you can right click in here or go up to Layer, go to New, Solid. And I like to name my Element 3D um, Layer E3D and then just click OK. And then we're going to go up here, click on Effect. I'm going to add co Video Copilot Element plugin. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead in here we're gonna go click the drop down for custom layers custom texture maps and we're just using one layer so under layer one click the drop down and then select YouTube intro and then scroll up and then let's go to scene setup okay so now that we have our scene setup window of element 3d we want to go ahead and so for all intents and purposes I'm just going to be throwing um, that YouTube intro video clip of mine onto a plane. So we're simply just going to create a plane here. Click the drop down, click on plane. We want the plane to be facing us. So change the orientation of the X axis to negative 90 degrees. And then we're going to change the aspect ratio of this plane to match my um, video clip, which is 16 by 9. And how that translates to into the scale percentage. Uh, scale percentage here is first of all you want to click the lock um, you want to unlock your your um, properties so they don't match so you want 16 by 9 translates to 100% to 56.2 on the z-axis so scale here we're just gonna leave alone and then go over to Z field here the z-axis field and type in 56.2 and now we have our um, 16 by 9 aspect ratio plane so then what we're going to want to do now is click the drop down of your extrusion extruded plane model here. Click on the default and then go down here to textures and you're going to click on diffuse none set right here. And then here you want to click the drop down menu and because we already set our custom layer to the YouTube intro video clip, simply select that hit OK and now our video is on a plane or it could be on any surface of any 3D model that you choose but like I said for this video we're just gonna throw it onto a plane so now we can go ahead and click OK so now we can go ahead and hide our initial um, video clip but we still have the audio so here is our Element 3D scene right there. So if you hit the space bar to um, quickly preview it, I have my resolution set to quarter so it'll think faster. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is click the drop down under the layer, click on the drop down for effects, element, and then we're going to bring our playhead all the way to zero, click on the group one drop down, click on particle look drop down and here we can make it bigger okay so here after you click on the, the particle look drop down menu particle size is the one we're gonna manipulate to make bigger into our preview window I'm gonna go ahead and make my um, preview resolution full so you guys can see everything okay so now we can make enlarge and scale our basically our 3d plane larger 
So I'm just going to throw a, a little animation in here so you guys can see that this is on a plane. Alright, so I just added a few animations on the Y rotation particle. Just to show you guys that this video is playing on a 3D extruded plane. Spacebar. So yeah, so that's how you put a video clip onto a 3D extruded plane of your uh, of any sort. Um, say for instance, like I said, you can put it on any kind of model and then on place it onto their materials section here and you can pretty much animate and play a video clip on any kind of surface so if this video helped you guys i'd appreciate you hitting that like button you guys are going to have some questions so leave them down below and i'll get back to them asap and please consider subscribing to my channel so you can be notified of future tutorials like this one all right guys i'm dj avionics see you in the next video